hey, hi. I'm Chris and Chris and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just looking into the emptiness of space. Oh yeah, and going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says, What exactly is a black hole? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need some pepper and your bathroom sink. Tonight, I am going to show you how to make your very own black hole right at home. I said hole. Okay, so some people do this with, you know, dirt or ripped up bits of paper, but you know, I'm, I i don't know how many people are interested in seeing a fat hairy man's crack. All you really need, okay, is to get yourself some of these, these little pepper packets. I got mine for free. You know, it's called, um, oh yeah, uh, Snatch and Run. <laughs> okay, you're gonna take your pepper packets into your bathroom. Oh, sorry, didn't know you were in here. Of course, you probably don't wanna wait until the person who's in here is done. <laughs> Okay, so once you're in your bathroom, you're gonna go ahead and start by plugging up the sink and then fill the sink with water. Now get yourself about four of these little pepper packets, rip the tops off of all four of them, and then you're gonna shake your pepper into the water. Now slowly release the plug and watch what happens to the pepper. Oh man, that is wicked cool. Okay, so why do black holes pull everything towards their center? And how do we know that black holes even exist? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. You might think that black holes are spinning vacuum vortexes that suck space debris into a reservoir. But this is completely wrong. Instead, black holes are actually massive amounts of matter packed into very tiny spaces. It's kind of like if you were to take a star 10 times larger than our own sun and squeeze all of its matter into a sphere the size of New York City. Black holes form when massive stars go into a supernova explosion. If the star leaves behind a core that is three times more massive than our own sun, the result is that force of gravity overwhelms all other forces, including light, resulting in a black hole. As attracted matter accelerates and heats up, it emits x-rays that radiate into space. And it's this radiation that is measured which allows us to know that black holes exist as well as their location. The size of black hole spheres can either be small, ranging from 10 to 20 times as massive as our own sun, to billions of times massive than our own sun. In fact, there's a black hole billions of times larger than our own sun at the center of our own galaxy, the Milky Way. So now you know more about black holes. You know, being able to make a black hole right at home is why science is so cool and I'm not wearing the glasses because it's dark out here.